Yo guys, what is up? Pupski here from Pup Shop. It has been such a long time since I said that. And firstly, I just want to apologize to everybody for our inactivity. But thank you to those subscribers that have stayed subscribed and been so loyal to us. And thank you to those people that have recently subscribed. And um, we assure you that we will be posting a lot more gameplay. Back in the day, when we posted our, our old videos, um, for those of you that don't know, we do have quite a few old videos. A lot of Halo content. A lot of tutorials by shop, a lot of um, gameplay, general gameplay, Halo 3 gameplay, um, the montages here and there. Go check that out if you want. Um, but yeah, back when we did that, we used the capture card and it was pretty time consuming. Um, hence, we haven't been posting um, since, and hence our long break. Uh, but now we have recently discovered how easy it is to upload from your Xbox One and how um, easy it is to even make commentaries off the Xbox One. So we'll be definitely, um, we'll definitely be posting a lot more gameplay and a lot more commentaries and I'm um, really looking to reboot our YouTube so there will be a lot more content to come and thanks again in advance to all those people um, that will support us and thanks to those who have supported us um, thank you for subscribing, thank you for any likes or comments that you leave us we really appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts um, and we hope that you'll keep supporting us and that you'll enjoy our videos and maybe you learn some stuff in this video I'm actually going to be giving some general freefall tips, so um, these will be the types of videos that I hope to make um, more, give you guys some tips, help you out, I really want to help out as much as possible. Um, yeah, this is a freefall gameplay. I'm actually playing against a good a good friend of mine, um, Jumbo, his gamer tag in this game. You can see it's Jumbo GPK, I think it stands for Crown Pound King or something, I don't know, I think he's trying to be cool, I don't know guys. I'm joking. Um, yeah, big shout out to him. His team did so well at the Halo World Championship. Um, really, really proud of him. Proud of the team. Uh, I think they came. Yeah, they came top eight. The, the team name is Epsilon. So it was Jumbo, Buck 57, Buck 20, and Snipe Drone. The coach Flames, my boy Dan. Um, big shout out to them. Really a good achievement. They rep Europe amazingly. They played amazingly. Um, yeah, really proud of them. Anyways, enough about them. Um, let's move on to the. Before uh, tips. Oh, by the way, I just want to apologize for any any sort of lag compensation that you'll see in this game. I apologize if it looks a little bit funky every now and then. You might have noticed it a while, a couple seconds back. Um, what what the theater in Halo 5 does is it tries to like compensate for your lag if you were lagging. So it'll it'll kind of try to compensate in the way to make it look like you're not lagging when you were. It's weird. I don't know. Um, but like sometimes you'll see me shoot someone and like the bullets won't act, like I won't be aiming at them but it'll hit them stuff like that it's just the, the way the theater works um but from now on if I do post gameplay I'll do it live because I've learned how to do that now um so it won't be any more theater gameplay and any more funky lag stuff it'll be purely live stuff and it'll be much more smooth for the most part this gameplay is smooth it's just a couple times I had some spikes because this game was a little bit laggy so yeah sorry for that but we'll just deal. Um, okay, so let's move on to the tips. Um, firstly, the main mindset you want to get into with free fall is you want to sort of intercept gunfights and um, not not create gunfights and create kills for yourself because uh, a lot of the time you're trying to start a kill from the like from the beginning and trying to like take off somebody's full health um, is a lot harder to achieve in free fall especially because there's always people trying to steal their kills etc so you want to play a lot more smartly and intercept gun battles and, um, and then kind of clean up kills when you can obviously you know if you run into someone and, and you have an advantage in a gunfight go for it but in general your main mindset must be trying to intercept gunfights um, if I can give a, a good tip um, with regards to that uh, a rule of thumb that I go by is if you engage, if you if you intercept somebody's gunfight, there's two people in a gunfight, you want to kill the guy that is more of a threat to you. So say he has more shields, or he has a power weapon, or a power up, you want to kill him first, because the other guy is not as much of a threat to you, so let's say you, you and the weaker guy team up on the guy that's more of a threat to you. Even if you don't get the kill and the weaker guy, the guy gets the kill, um, the weaker guy is a lot more easier for you to kill, whereas if you both kill the weak guy, the other guy is more of a threat to you. So a lot of the time, if you if you follow that tip and you go for the guy that's more of a threat to you, um, you'll 
a lot of the time end up getting the double kill or you at least kill the guy that's weaker instead of not getting a kill at all and dying because you're not killing the guys more threat to you. So that, that's a massive tip that I've always followed. Um, but yeah, I might I might repeat it in this video because it's so important, but always, always want to try the sneaky and intercept gunfights. I, I really want to emphasize that. You, you don't want to, whereas like where you're doing team games, say, um, you're always putting shots on people, you're always shooting people across the map because any damage is very valuable to your team. Um, you don't want to do that in people. You definitely do not want to shoot people across the map. You're probably not going to end up picking up the kill, so it's completely pointless. Um, you want to kind of sit in a hot spot and wait for gunfights to happen and then intercept them and sort of clean up kills. A lot smarter way to um, go about things in free fall. You'll find that it'll, it'll definitely pay off. Um, another thing about hotspots, what I mean by that, sorry, I'm not clarifying. Um, hotspots are kind of like where where people mainly go in the map. So on this map, for example, it'll be like the sniper area or in the bases, especially. Um, that's mainly where people go. And um, if you can crouch any of these hotspots, uh, it usually gives you a good opportunity to jump on someone. I actually do it right now, funny enough. Um, like, if, if you're crouching in a hotspot and people will be very likely to run past, you can get the jump in them. You have an advantage because they don't know that you're there. Um, that's a very good thing to do. Also, because so many people go there, it makes you um, a lot more prone to intercepting a gunfight, like I was saying earlier. Um, but yeah, but being in those hotspots and by people not knowing that you're there allows you to um, make plays on people um, unexpectedly. But yeah, that's really good. Um, also, another thing is uh, pick up every weapon that you go across. Like, it, every weapon helps. Every weapon in this game is very good for those people that don't know. Um, any weapon on the map is very good. I'd say, in my opinion, I think some people will disagree. Um, the only weapons that I don't pick up are the bolt shots and the suppressor. And I think the AR is better than both of those weapons, and the pistol is better than both those weapons. But everything else um, will be better than your starting weapons. Um, pick up the BRs, the DMRs, the plasma pistols, the storm rifles, the SMGs. Pick those up, and then obviously pick up the sniper and the rockets. But what I'm trying to say is, even the smaller weapons, you always want to pick them up. Don't just ignore them. Yeah. Um, another thing is, if the map does have a power up, which is uh, by power up, I mean uh, active camo and overshield, you definitely want to pick those up. Those those give you a massive advantage. Um, they're like super super important. Um, big tip on that for those people that don't know is that those power ups spawn every two minutes after somebody picks them up. So say for example now the timer is at 4:17. If I if I pick it up or if somebody else picks it up at 4:17 you know that it'll, that it'll spawn 2 minutes later, which will be 2.17. Um, so that's a way you can use the timer at the bottom right of your screen as um, an indication as to when the OS or camo is going to come up. Um, I definitely focus on that in, in people gameplay. Overshield and camo helps a ton. Um, let me think, what else? Uh, big thing is this is this is something that's very very key, and I, th I think like any experienced player that you ask will give you this tip. It's like probably the first tip that people give you, um, especially in competitive free falls. You always, whenever you die, you always want to look at the person who is above and below you in the leaderboard. If, if you just press back on your controller, you can see it'll, it'll pop up to the leaderboard, and you want to make a note of the person that's above and below you. So, say for example, now I'll say, um, okay, uh, Jimbo, the grey guy. And I'll say, okay, uh, NLF Spooky, the blue guy. Then whenever I spawn, I'll know that they're my biggest threats to coming first or coming second or coming third. So that lets you like put put more shots in them if you see them. So um, you you kind of make life harder for them in a sense. Um, if you see them across the map, put shots in them, make life hard for them, and um, you and that puts them at a bit of a disadvantage and will give you a better chance to to win or come top three or whatever. Um, another thing that I picked up in Halo 5 was whenever you play a new map, go into theatre afterwards and look where everybody spawned. I find that that's a really good thing to do because uh, well then when you start that map again, you'll know where about everybody is, um, and where they're spawning, and, and even during the game, uh, if, if everybody's dead, you'll know generally what the spawns will be like. If you want to spend more time doing that, look at the spawns, but um, it's very helpful to know where people are off the start. Um, those are my main tips. I hope that helps you guys out. Um, I'll be definitely posting more tip videos if you guys want me to, and more commentaries in general. Thank you so much for watching. Did come first. So. Thanks guys. See you later.